All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the challenger, Russia. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Perhaps a sign of 
things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Quick level change. Oh, he said. went single, rotated head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh, nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great eye impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. Oh, nice job to land the knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Swing and a miss by Lee. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Shot clip with the right hand. Oh, collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And that one was heavy. Oh, big left. Just oh, oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. He it. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just missed with that right hand. It's very true. He throws that body kick. Looping left hand misses the target. Come on, push through it. Circling to his right. Nice punch here. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Blocks the strike. Powerful leg kick lands. Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down. Oh, oh my gosh, perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, wow, oh! He might get a finish here! Wow! Oh, right in the mouth. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Jim. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down the ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Five minutes in the books. Oh, we're getting a finish here. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He just tried to put himself back in that position 
And maybe this time, he gets the finish he wants so bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just missed with the left there. Session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Flips the punch nicely there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one of done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Let's finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big Paul punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, huge kick. Three minutes to go in the round. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Left hand punch for the Clinton. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Nice one, two there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And they separate. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. That shot blocked by Lee. He is throwing a fast, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Unable to land with that punch.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Great punch. Pretty significant well to the left side. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, huge block! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, perfect head kick there! Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish the fight. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And he landed the right hand there. Some strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Great punch landing with so much power. Got a single power time. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Look at him with the hip into that kick. Oh! Back and forth we go. Blocked. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the set two that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up, he drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Head kick! Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Again. Back into this position. So nicely done with the trip. My close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. You gotta be careful, Armbar. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position.
Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he's got the kick game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Stick that out there. Ooh, big shot lands. Big body kick lands. Plus right hand is true. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. And he's back up. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh. Dig and kick. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Big head kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Nice sneaky head kick. Ooh, what a punch. And both fighters, that one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. Oh! Right 
right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman.